Hi, I'm Kent. What happens when you put glass into a glaze firing? A while ago, I saw a potter taking broken up glass and putting it into a glaze firing. The idea was to take a glass bottle or jar that is no longer needed, you break it up into small pieces, and then you put it on top of a ceramics piece, and then that goes into the glaze firing. Apparently, this is supposed to craze quite a bit, but from what I saw, it created a pretty cool effect. So I'm gonna give it a try. I've got a glaze firing that is just about ready to go. I've got a little bit of space left, so let's give it a shot. I've been collecting bottles for a while and I have a couple different kinds. First, I have clear glass. This is more green and then this one's brown. I've tried to take off most of the stickers and the associated adhesive. I really don't want that burning up in my kiln. If there is a little bit left over, it should just go away when the kiln comes to temperature. I'll definitely wanna make sure I vent my kiln very well for this one. So what I'm gonna do is off camera, I'm gonna take these and I'm going to very carefully break them into small pieces. We'll then take those pieces and then put them onto my pots. So let me go ahead and break all this stuff. So here's the first one. I put it into a double Ziploc bag and put this inside of a box so that I don't have glass shards going everywhere. Let me go ahead and put this into a separate container. Some of the bigger pieces I can just throw in the recycle. All right, I'll pick through those later. Let's do the next one. This one was much easier to break. And last one. Okay, so here are the glass shards that I want to be very careful with, and I'll be able to pick these out. And I have a few coasters here that I've made. I've just glazed the insides of these with my base glaze, so hopefully that'll help everything melt together. I think the idea is I'm just gonna take a few pieces of glass and put it on. And obviously these pieces are very sharp, so be very careful if you decide to do this yourself. I don't want to put on too many because I don't want them to flow over and mess up my kiln shelf, so I'm just putting a few pieces on. I think that's good enough for now. Let me go ahead and put these into my glaze firing and we'll see if I make a mess or not. And here they are out of the glaze firing. You can see all the glass melted and I think I guessed about right in terms of the quantity of glass. None of them overflowed. That is a good thing. I wouldn't want to clean that up off my kiln shelves. And they definitely did craze. There's some cracked glass here, although the top feels relatively smooth. Some of the larger cracks I can feel a little bit. I was expecting some more color variations, but apparently that didn't happen. So there's that one. This one here is mostly the clear. Wound up being a little frosty white around the edge. I guess that's some sort of interaction with the glass and the glaze itself. And then finally, this one. That was fun to try. I've been sitting on that for a while and wanted a chance to go ahead and do it, so I'm glad I did. I don't make many flat things that can really benefit from the glass going into it, like coasters like this. I think for planters, it might be a good idea for the coaster on the bottom. It can be a little bit decorative. Of course, then it'll be covered by the planter itself. You tell me, do you like this? If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks.